There's a rumor that someone accidentally dropped a coin from the top of the Empire State Building, and it struck a pedestrian below, piercing his skull and killing him instantly. To check the story, Adam first needed to figure out the coin's terminal velocity. They went to a skydiving center and released a coin during a jump. To their surprise, the coin actually drifted upward, which meant its terminal velocity was certainly lower than a human's. Using a set of physics formulas, they estimated the coin's terminal speed at about 60 to 65 miles per hour. Next, they needed a way to launch a coin at that speed, so they adapted a nail gun. After tuning and testing, the nail gun could propel a coin at roughly 65 miles per hour. To test the coin's lethality at that speed, Adam built a dummy head whose skull had the same density as a human's and wrapped it in gel, then compared results against concrete and asphalt. The first target, concrete, showed the coin did no real damage to a hard surface. The asphalt test produced similar results. The dummy head also demonstrated the same thing. The coin didn't do much to the skull and certainly couldn't penetrate it. That effectively put the rumor to rest, but they didn't stop there. They tried accelerating the coin even more to see how fast it would have to go to pierce a skull. Using an air compressor, they pushed the coin up to about three times the speed of sound. And even then, it still couldn't shoot through the skull. The explanation, a coin has a relatively large surface area and light mass, and it isn't shaped like a bullet, which is designed specifically to penetrate targets.